Well, 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 I guess it's come to this. Fall trend predictions. I used to kind of hate on these videos, but I mean. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. For real though, in this video, we're gonna be going over some of my fall fashion trend predictions. What's gonna be hot, what's gonna be not. And I'm gonna try and spice this one up a little bit. Like I feel like all these fashion trend seasonal predictions, they always kind of say the same stuff. So I'm gonna try and give you guys something new bro because everyone says the same thing uh so yeah i think uh pants and clothes are gonna be super trendy this season uh yeah i think we're gonna see a lot of earth tones we are definitely transitioning from a brighter red into that very deep merlot um wine color so so basically this season we're gonna go from wearing red to wearing a slightly darker shade of red <laughs> So let's make this a good one. We'll see if I'm right. And either way, I think that these would just be sick to see spawn in more. So let's get it. For the first prediction, we're gonna combine two trends, kinda. Now, whenever it gets colder, everybody starts layering and they all say the same thing. Finally fall. Now I can really start dressing. And then they just put on a jacket. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a banger with this. But the thing is, what color is this jacket earth tones but earth tones is almost too easy of an answer that's like when you ask someone what they've been up to you're just trying to make small talk and they say you know just just been chilling Boring. working you know bro i actually don't care just tell me something interesting so that the conversation isn't awkward like yeah earth tones gets the job done but will it really satisfy you long term can you really see yourself posting one year on your story with this and you know how every time this season comes around all the girls start talking crazy about Oh, leopard print and oh, all the different animal prints, cow print, cheetah print. So I figured, hmm, prints. <laughs> and then it hit me. Camo. I'm feeling camo this fall, but not in like a real tree camo or a rainbow camo or even a America truck driving mullet type of camo. Pedo stash, the mullet, sides often shaved, sometimes a beanie. More so in like a swag era 2010 type of way. I'm really liking these camo three four shorts. They just look so swag. Camo pants, on the other hand, they're all right, but they don't hit nearly as hard as the three four shorts. Same with real tree camo. With that one, the wave kind of already passed. And code name, been there, done that. April is currently doing that. Donna is. As for the rest of animal prints, leopard print shorts are cool too, but I do think that they'd be a little harder to style just because of the color palette. <laughs> Okay, second, I talked about this one in one of my previous videos. It's similar to the camo style and everybody knows that camo hats have been super trendy, but not everyone is trying to look like everyone else and their mom on Instagram reels. So think about what is trendy right now. Being bisexual and emo. If you wanna be one of the non-conformists, all you have to do is dress just like us and listen to the same music we do. Okay. And with that being said, the camo hat's next evolution is the military cap. Remember, no Russian. These are fire. You can even customize them too. You know, add little pins, spray paint them, get the ones with rhinestones. They even got like a tier ranking choose your skin type system. You can opt for the master prestige captain skin get the sailor skin, the German skin, there's even train conductor skins. Bro, the options are endless with this one. Just stay away from the North Korea skin. This one's mine. And I'm rocking with it. People have been wearing these for a little bit now, but I have yet to see too many of them in person. Maybe it's because they're a rare sighting, or maybe it's just because I don't go outside. Either way, I guess we'll never know. I just know these would look absolutely sick with that distressed hat look. Ooh, same, same, but different but still say and if you want to check these out just look up military cap cadet hat army cap the same thing will pop up for all of these a big red flag for me is somebody who enjoys midwestern emo oh, shit. <laughs> Third up, we got to talk about it. Now, I was doing research for this video to see what other people thought would be trendy this fall. And I was hearing some propaganda about skinny jeans. First, I got slim fit jeans because I feel like we kind of getting bored of like the baggy shit. I think if you could pull the slim fit jeans on, we gonna really see who's that guy. I think instead we're just going to be seeing a lot more of the straight leg loose jean, possibly even a boot cut. Hmm, straight leg, boot cut, skinny jeans. 
What's going on here? This is an interesting take. Now, I do think slimmer jeans are going to be starting to get more accepted in the community, but I don't know about all that. Mm, I would say smash Buka, marry straight, and kill slim. It's not that I hate skinny jeans. I do think they could look good, but I think they only look good on a specific type of person. Skinny people and especially tall skinny people. Those MFs that are built like Endermans, like this is perfect for you guys. Because if you're an absolute unit like me, just bursting with muscle and testosterone, I'm going to look like Dr. Eggman in skinny jeans, like a popsicle, just all the top. But if you look like a Chad Dylan reader, then of course you're going to look good in skinny jeans. As for the jeans sake though, you know, I will say we can start being a little more accepting, more open to the skinny jeans community. Bootcut and straight can stay, slim can go, and skinny can be that one white kid that's friends with other black kids. EMP systems online. Okay, fourth, we've covered shorts, pants, and headwear. So it's only right that we cover what's on the chest. Talking about tops, as you know, fall is when you can really start dressing, really start putting that shit on. We're talking about layering. We're talking about outerwear. We're talking about wearing a jacket over a hoodie. Oh, yeah. But in a lot of places, fall can still be pretty warm. So what's the perfect combination of layering without that like five pounds of heavyweight gilding cotton on you? Thermals. It's kind of obvious, but we all love thermals. I just know they're going to be coming back for another season. There's so many different ways to equip this item. You can wear it by itself. You could wear it as an undershirt. I've even seen videos of people wearing mesh jerseys lately. So you could go for like a long sleeve mesh jersey thermal type of vibe. Now, most of the time people just do white or black, but I think for this season, different colors could be the move. Like a, I'm thinking like a mix of a Mesa biome and a Taiga forest biome. Because different colors and designs will be so swag. Like, look at this ALD mesh thermal. It's kind of funky, but I'm messing with it. It feels like if the trendy soccer jerseys had a baby with the thermal. Or that Stone Island thermal that changes colors in different weather. Oh my, I need that. Oh man, need that. Anyways, thermals have always been a go-to for the fall season. But for this season, I'm thinking like a 2.0 version. More of a colorful vibe than just the regular white and black ones. Fifth prediction, we've covered headwear, tops, bottoms, what's left? Shoes, what is on the dogs? Now, obviously boots are gonna spawn in more as they do, but for my guess, I'm going with something that has been pretty popular for ages now, but I think it's gonna have a little spike. Think about it, the grungy emo bisexual look has been on the rise. MFs are talking about skinny jeans again. It's all kind of leading back to that rock star look. Now, rock stars have always dressed with a skinny style and they always wear boots. But what is a skinny shoe that's not a boot that also goes along with the Rockstar vibe? Chuck Taylors. Black Chuck Taylors, specifically with this look. Bro, you can't tell me that this isn't basically every trendy guy in LA. They even got the skinnier jeans too. I think if you could pull the slim fit jeans on, we gonna really see who's that guy. Now the black Chucks are timeless. Skaters wear them, musicians wear them, the popular kids in the old high school movies wear them. There's really nothing else to say like if skinny jeans come back, these things are going to be spawning in more like crazy. I think the Rockstar look is sick, you definitely can't go wrong with it. And again, we've seen inspiration from this look for quite some time now. Rockstars have always worn small tees, trendy guys are always wearing small tees. You can see the bits and pieces of outfit and spell everywhere you look. Also for accessories, I don't know if this is a really prediction, but I'd say wired headphones. Remember when everyone on TikTok would post fit checks with the Apple uh, Pro Max AirPods? That was a whole era. But with this look, I don't really think it suits that type of aesthetic, but wired earbuds definitely do. And they even got them as an accessory on some runway shows. So that's six of my fall fashion predictions. I know some of this stuff is already kind of trendy, like the Chucks, they're, they're timeless, but you get the point. I feel like this stuff is just going to shine during the fall, so we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Join the Discord. It's linked below. And if you want to know three of the best fashion acts to get trendy clothes for cheap, click the video here. Bye.